Hey guys, so, um, ipsy thing plus a little update. Um, I'm moving in less than two weeks, so around that same time, around the 29th, there will be the first, like, detailed, lengthy tutorial video. So I'm really excited to bring that to you guys, and I'm really excited to show you this month's ipsy. Also, if you're wondering what's going on here, um, I have a metal gauge that's been stuck in my ear for about a month, and so I'm weighing it down and keeping it moisturized to hopefully help it loosen up and get more stretchy so I can finally take the gauge out and put in this one that matches. So, if you guys have any other ideas, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, let's get to the Ipsy bag. Um, this month, it's your story start- your summer story starts here. Has a little pineapple with some sunglasses. I think this is really cute. I think I'm gonna like hang this up on my wall when I get into my new place. Super cute. Okay, it says, there are 93 days, 15 hours, and 47 minutes of summer. Are you soaking them up? Whether you're craving a road trip, a sun-drenched siesta, or a poolside fiesta, we dare you to take a day off and make it happen. In fact, your May glam bag picks were chosen to help make all your warm weather dreams come true. While you're lounging on a human-sized sprinkle donut, head to ipsy.com for more hashtag Ipsy Summer Friday vibes, info and inspiration. Then take 30 seconds to do your product reviews and tell us what you think. Your June glam bag will thank you for it. So this month it came like wrapped in tissue paper. I'm guessing it's because it's like this clear material that can get scuffed up real easily. But um, it's super cute. It's this little ice cream bag. I think this is adorable. And I will definitely use this like when I go to the pool and stuff. Because this is so cute. And such a perfect little like poolside bag. So, um, the first thing I got is this Royal and Langnickel Precision Angled Brush. And I absolutely love getting brushes in my Ipsy. I love that I get brushes in my Ipsy all the time. And these ones are always really soft. The Nickel, the Royal and Langnickel, they're always really nice. I also like the Luxie brushes that I get a lot. So it's nice and fluffy too. That'd probably be nice for like some blending. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Okay. Next I have a Global Beauty Care Premium Charcoal Wash Off Mask. 15 minute facial therapy deep cleansing mud based formula. Unclogs pores and lifts away impurities for all skin types. So that's cool. I have another mask that I got from this brand, but I think I got it in a birch box instead of an Ipsy. Maybe I got it in a different Ipsy. But, so I'm excited to try this. I love masks. I prefer the... the other kinds of masks. The ones you just lay on your face. I can't think of the word right now. But those ones! Okay. Next I have a Tristique Mini matte lip crayon in the color Tuscan Wine. Oh, and it's cute. It looks like a little pencil thing. This is really cute though. Oh, such a pretty color. It's a very nice red color. Oh, no, don't get that close to the camera. It makes it dark. <laughs> it's really pretty though. It's a really nice color. I like that. Okay, next I have an Urban Decay Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the color Sin. Love Urban Decay. Love it. I still do not own one of their Naked palettes and it makes me sad, but I want any of them. All of them. Just, you know, Naked palettes in general. I'm so scared I'm going to open this and it's going to come flying out. Oh, okay, we're good. It looks really pretty. Let's watch it. I'm always down to get highlighters, so you know. It looks pretty. It's a really, like, natural highlight. It's not like, uh, blinding. It's like, really natural and pretty. Um, you can probably barely see it. Oh, no, you can see it right there. Gives nice, get a little sheen. It's really nice, though. That's pretty. 
I'm going to put it back in here until I have an actual thing to put it in. Because yeah. all my stuff's being packed. <laughs> uh, I can't get it back in the thing. Oh no. Okay, there it goes. Okay, next I have a Pacifica Island Life Natural Mineral Eyeshadows. They are 100% vegan and cruelty free. is a little weird. Like, has a little thing in the top that you break open. Now it's stuck. I don't know. Oh, it has tape on the sides. I just like started tearing open the box. I was like, I don't give up. F word. I don't give an F word. Well, that's trash now. This is really cute. I know Pacifica is more of like a drug story brand, but I, I so far have loved every Pacifica product I have gotten. So I'm really excited. I've decided I really like this brand. So much tape. Oh my gosh. Um, it's got some really nice colors. There's the shades: Skinny Dip, Coral Sand, Golden Treasure, and Sand. Skinny Dip. Coral sand, golden treasure, sandalwood. Is that five? Yeah. Golden treasure, not golden treasure. Okay, so I'm guessing that's skinny dip. Um, coral sand, golden treasure, and sandalwood. So let's, let's swatch them up. First we have skinny dip, which... All of these have like either a sheen to them or they're glittery or they're, you know, nice. So this one is just a really nice little nudie color. It's pretty. I like that. It's very uh, white on the skin, but it is a really light, like, skin color. So next we have coral sand. Coral sand. It's like, what is this shit called? I don't remember. This one is, it doesn't have a lot of color to it, but it is really like shimmery and it has a slight pink to it. You can barely see it on my hand. But next is a golden, which is a very gold color, so makes sense. These are all really like light. Kind of just literally colors. Um, most of the pigment is staying on my finger when I do this though. So hopefully it works better with brushes. But they all feel really creamy. So that's nice. Next is treasure. Oh, they feel like butter though. Like they feel buttery. And, you know, as all little palettes come with, it came with one of these little things. Sometimes I like these for, like, certain purposes, but for the most part, they're like, no. Nah. So it's treasure. It's just kind of like a, a brownish color. And last is sandalwood, which, okay. Sandalwood is, like, the worst scent for me. Like, I personally do not like it at all. Like, not even a little bit. I'm just like, ugh, sandalwood. Like, if it's mixed with other scents... I think it's fine, but on its own, it's like, it's gross. So that's sandalwood. Gosh, I got so much, like, actual, like, makeup. Like, normally I get a lot of, like, like, I'll get, like, one or two, like, one makeup product and a couple skincare and, like, something else. Usually a chapstick. But, like, this time I got, like, a lot of makeup stuff. And then last, I got a thing that I paid for with my Ipsy points that I had saved up. And it is the Benigma All-in-One Face Cream. And uh, you put it on in the morning and at night after you wash your face. It says, we hope you enjoy this free sample and love your new rejuvenated skin. Okay. But this is, I use my uh, Ipsy points on this. It's got a little protector thing. Just don't smell it. 
Okay, so it is only full up to like this little golden line on the thing. Like it's only full up to there, but hopefully it lasts a little while. Because it did cost a lot of Ipsy points. And it says, warning, do not use this product if you have a known bee allergy. But it's a really pretty container too. It's cute. So I can't wait to try that out. I can't wait to try all of this out actually and like actually use on my face. And like, yeah, so exciting. I always love getting my Ipsy bags. They're always so cute. Now I have a little more makeup to play with while I'm in packing mode because most of my makeup is packed away and it makes me sad. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if there's anything like in particular you'd like to see, comment it down below. And I hope you guys have a good day, night, wherever you are, whatever time it is. I hope it's good. And I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye.